different kinds of headaches. Headaches are a common, often debilitating problem that many of us face at some point in our lives. They range from mild to severe and can have a variety of causes. In this video, we'll discuss the different types of headaches and their causes, as well as available treatments to help relieve them. We'll also look at ways to prevent future headaches and discuss when to see a doctor. Tension Headaches Tension headaches are the most common type of headache. Stress and muscle tension are often factors in these headaches. Tension headaches typically don't cause nausea, vomiting, or sensitivity to light. They do cause a steady ache, rather than a throbbing one, and tend to affect both sides of the head. Treatment for tension headaches is usually focused on reducing the underlying stress or tension. This may include relaxation techniques, massage therapy, and physical therapy. Medications such as ibuprofen or aspirin may also be used to relieve pain. For more severe cases of tension headaches, a doctor may prescribe stronger medications like muscle relaxants. Migraines The exact cause of migraines is unknown, but there are a few theories. It is thought that abnormal activity in the brainstem and its interactions with the trigeminal nerve, a major pain pathway, play a role. Genetics may also be involved. Hormonal changes and certain triggers such as stress, certain foods, and environmental factors may also trigger migraines. A migraine is usually a moderate or severe headache felt as a throbbing pain on one side of the head. Many people also have symptoms such as feeling sick, being sick and increased sensitivity to light or sound. Migraine is a common health condition, affecting around 1 in every 5 women and around 1 in every 15 men. Treatment for migraines varies depending on the severity of the symptoms. Prescription medications, such as triptans and ergotamines, are sometimes prescribed to help reduce the intensity of the migraine. In some cases, preventive medications may be recommended to reduce the frequency of migraines. Other treatments, such as biofeedback and cognitive behavioral therapy, may also be recommended. Cluster Headaches Cluster headaches are excruciating attacks of pain in one side of the head, often felt around the eye. Cluster headaches are rare. Anyone can get them, but they're more common in men and tend to start when a person is in their 30s or 40s. The exact cause of cluster headaches is unknown, but cluster headache patterns suggest that abnormalities in the body's biological clock, hypothalamus, play a role. Unlike migraine and tension headache, cluster headache generally isn't associated with triggers such as foods, hormonal changes, or stress. The exact cause of cluster headaches is unknown, but there are a few factors that may contribute to them such as smoking, drinking alcohol, and dehydration. Sinus headaches Sinus headaches are usually associated with migraines or other forms of headaches. Sinus headaches are associated with pain and pressure in the face and sinuses and can cause nasal symptoms. Most of these headaches are not caused by sinus infections and generally should not be treated with antibiotics. Treatment for sinus headaches usually involves treating the underlying cause. Allergies can be managed with antihistamines, decongestants, and avoidance of allergens. If a sinus infection is present, antibiotics may be prescribed. Pain relievers may also be used to reduce symptoms. Nasal irrigation can also be helpful for sinus headaches due to allergies or sinusitis. Inhaled steroids may also be prescribed for long-term relief of sinus headaches. Rebound headaches When a person is experiencing rebound headaches, the pain is similar to that of tension headaches and migraines, but the pain can be more intense. 
People may also experience nausea and sensitivity to light and sound when suffering from rebound headaches. The best way to treat rebound headaches is to stop taking the pain relievers or other medications that could be causing them. If the pain is severe, a doctor may prescribe medications such as opioids, muscle relaxers, or anti-nausea drugs. However, these should only be taken on an as-needed basis, as they can lead to further medication overuse and rebound headaches. It is also important to keep track of how often one takes medication in order to prevent rebound headaches from occurring in the future. Limiting the amount of pain relievers and other medications taken on a regular basis can help prevent rebound headaches from developing. Additionally, developing better coping mechanisms for stress and anxiety can help reduce the need for frequent medication use. At the end, a headache may feel like a pain inside your brain, but it's not. Most headaches begin in the many nerves of the muscles and blood vessels that surround your head, neck, and face. The vast majority of headaches are not life-threatening. However, headache can be a symptom of serious conditions affecting the brain, such as infection, inflammation, or bleeding within or around the brain. So if your headaches last for a long time, seek a doctor for professional medical advice. Thank you for watching our video.